Artificial intelligence and machine learning have been making headlines with tons of tools being released over the past year that can help people in their daily lives, some of which can be quite expensive. So coming up in this video, I'll show you 10 useful AI tools that you can use for free right now. Some are completely free, while others do have limitations. I'll go over those in the video, along with examples for most. Let's get started. A recent entry into the market is an AI image generator called Adobe Firefly, which can be found at firefly.adobe.com. It's currently in beta and completely free for anyone to use right now. After playing around with this for a while, it's quite impressive. They have various tools for you to try out. For this example, let's go with text to image. In the box below, type your prompt. Try to be as descriptive as possible. After entering your prompt, click on Generate. Along the right, you'll have filters to help modify your images. The content type is currently set to Art. Let's see what happens when I switch it to None. Like I said earlier, Firefly is completely free right now. As it is an Adobe product, you can surely expect they'll start charging to use it in the near future. Namelix at namelix.com can help you to create a brandable name for your business for free using AI. Here's how to use it. Enter keywords that describe your business or product. I'll go with flying, robot, duster. Then click on generate. Select a name style. I'll go with brandable names. Click next. Select the general randomness of the names. They say medium is good for balanced results. So I'll go with that one. Click next. In brand info, you'll see the keywords entered earlier. You also have the option of entering in a business description. I'll leave it as is and select generate. You'll now see possible business names you could use along with logos. Hovering your cursor over any of these and selecting more info will show you which domains are available. Perplexity at perplexity.ai is simply an answer and information search engine powered by GPT-4. Unlike a normal search engine that will inject ads or show irrelevant results, this will just get you the information with cited sources, which is great for doing research. To begin, type your question. After entering your question, you could select focus to narrow down your sources or just leave it on all. After that, click the search button or hit enter on your keyboard. After showing the results, you also have the option here at the bottom to ask follow-up questions. If you used Bing's AI search, you'll notice the results here are less cluttered. In addition to the web, Perplexity also has mobile apps available for iOS and Android. Gamma, which is available at gamma.app, is a new AI-powered alternative to using slide decks. Their goal is to make it easier to create and share presentations, briefs, memos, and documents. They have a good variety of templates available in various categories to help you work faster without having to start from scratch. At the time of this recording, Gamma only has a free plan available offering 400 credits to create AI decks. A pro plan is also in the works that they say is coming soon. Just like Adobe Firefly mentioned earlier, the Microsoft Bing Image Creator is another one to consider. Powered by OpenAI's DALL-E, it'll give you 100 free generations daily. Even after the 100, it's still free, but the generations are slower. In the box, type your prompt. After entering in your prompt, click on Create. When you select one of the images, you'll have the option to share it with others, save it to one of your collections, download it to your computer, or customize it. Also available from Microsoft, Microsoft Designer at the address designer.microsoft.com is another AI image generator. Instead of just creating images, it's more focused on creating designs for social media, posters, invitations, illustrations, and so much more. This one's also easy to use. In the box, describe in as much detail as possible the design you'd like to create.
When you're done with that, click on Generate. You'll now see various creations here on the right. After selecting your design, you can see it more fully by clicking the magnifier icon in the upper right, and you can simply download it to your computer or customize it further. Chat PDF, available at chatpdf.com, is great for those of you that need a faster way to do research without spending a ton of time reading the entire file contents. You simply just upload any PDF, ask questions, and it will answer back. Here's an example. I will now drop a PDF from my computer about large language models into the box. Once loaded, you can ask questions in the box here at the bottom. It will only give summarized answers of what is available in the PDF only. As you can see, this is a huge time saver when doing research. The free plan for Chat PDF is very generous, allowing PDFs up to 120 pages in length, no larger than 10 megabytes, with a limit of three PDFs and up to 50 questions per day. If you need more than that, the Plus plan is $5 per month. Palette, available at palette.fm, is a cool AI tool that will take your black and white photos and colorize them using AI. It couldn't be any easier to use. You could upload the image from your computer or simply drag and drop it onto the page. Here's one I have not tried out yet. Let's see how it looks. Here at the top, you have various filters that you can play around with. Selecting the customize icon here on the right, that's you see the prompt that was auto-generated, and you can also edit the prompt. Palette is no longer completely free. While you can still upload as many images as you want, the size will be limited to 500 by 500 pixels with a limit of one free HD credit. Their paid plans are very reasonable, starting at 15 cents per HD image. This will be a quick one. Socratic from the folks at Google is a mobile app for both iOS and Android. Powered by Google AI, it's for all you students out there needing help with your homework. By simply taking photos of your homework with your phone, it'll give you answers with visual explanations in various subjects, including science, math, and so much more. If you students love me for that last one, you may hate me for this one. GPT-0 at the web address gpt0.me is an AI plagiarism checker to help teachers determine whether a document was written by AI or human. To use it, you can upload the document from your computer or simply copy and paste it into the box. When you're done with that, click on Get Results. When it's done, scroll down. It'll highlight individual sentences in question, or in this case, the entire document that are suspected of being written by AI. You can use this tool for free to scan text up to 5,000 characters. For around $10 per month, you can scan text up to 50,000 characters. Thanks for watching. Links are in the description. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. What free AI tools do you use? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the notification bell for the latest on AI and other tech-related stuff right here on Brett in Tech.